Practice makes man perfect. In fact, the more you practice the circuit designing, it will become a core skill for you. If you want to become a PCB designer, the only great thing that you can do is with consistency, you have to practice more and more circuit. Hence, in the previous tutorial, I have discussed about designing certain circuits and the schematic and the PCB layout in detail. Now it is time for you to practice and understand the concept in detail with practical aspect of the learning. That's why in this video, I have brought you three important circuits which are easy to learn and yet they are simple to understand along with they are having a different concepts to learn while you are designing the circuit. So try to explore more and more circuit other than these three, but make sure that you complete these three projects before jumping into anything else. Hello everyone, I'm Bhaibar Sugandhi, passionate PCB designer and technology startup founder. Welcome back to our course on PCB Designing for Absolute Beginners 2022. I believe you have watched our previous video. If not, click on the i button here and do watch that video before jumping into this one. If you like our educational content, then share this information with your friends and colleagues so that we can reach more and more people and those who are enthusiast about learning PCB Designing will get the best resource in the internet. So let's jump into the screen and start working on the projects that we are decided to showcase you today. I'm not going to dive deep into designing the schematic, designing the circuit and PCB and all those things, but I'm going to showcase how exactly we have done it in previous tutorials or maybe in my practice session so that you can look into those particular circuit while designing yourself. All right, as you can see, these are the example circuits. I believe that you can see my screen and uh, we are going to jump into detailed explanation about this project uh, at the first time. This is a very simple AC switch using Arduino Nano because uh, once we are done with the dual voltage power supply and a single voltage power supply, the next important thing is creating some project that is uh, at least related to some real time application. So that's why we will be having a very important circuit here, which is all about Arduino Nano development board. And along with that couple of headers to connect the sensors and actuators to integrate with that development board so that we can create some application project, right? So the most important thing is whatever we learned in our single voltage power supply or the plus five volt power supply design in the previous tutorial, we are going to use that especially the same circuit in this particular in our design activity. We are going to copy paste that particular circuit from the previous schematic and thereupon we are going to build a next part of the story which is all about Arduino Nano development board and a couple of headers for connecting IR sensor, relay module, LCD, couple of things like you know couple of LEDs for uh, user interface and all. So like this you can add any other peripherals which are essential for you or you feel like they are interesting to add in this particular project. So this is all about the schematic for uh, your uh, you know first project or first practice session that includes Arduino Uno or Arduino Nano development board. You can choose between Arduino Uno and Arduino Nano but for me I have chosen Arduino Nano because it is very small in size and quite easy to use with uh, when you are designing for the first time. Of course it is AC switch using Arduino with uh, just a connector we are not building any sensor or actuator in this. This is your first practice session where you are going to do this particular thing by hands on. And after that in the second particular session or maybe in the second activity you can go ahead with the building a little bit extra than what we have done in the previous. Instead of using the external IR sensor module or a relay module we are going to build those modules in the same circuit. For example IR sensor circuit here and also relay module in this particular schematic. Along with that, I'm adding a buzzer instead of using one LED, rather rather using a two LEDs, I'm going to use one LED and one buzzer, which is again a practice session for you. Just to make it little complicated than the previous one, we are adding these circuits in the circuit, not as a module, okay? So the difference between the previous circuit and this circuit is we are using a connectors here. You can see that IR sensor module has one connector where you are going to connect the external IR sensor module to this particular circuit. Instead of that, in the next practice session, you must make sure that you are creating your own IR sensor circuit, which will be very easy for you to interface and uh, you know make a circuit as per your requirement. Maybe changing the ICs or changing the values of resistor for 
for adjusting the sensitivity and all those things you can understand or you must understand the design aspect of IR sensor module rather than just using a module available in the market that's why we are creating a practice session 2 which includes the sensor level design so this is IR sensor circuit and the next one is the relay circuit which is absolutely important for you to design as I already mentioned about the IR sensor the similarly for relay single channel relay module also you must understand how exactly those circuits are designed and how exactly we can control the 12 volt or 5 volt relay module by by interfacing with Arduino Nano development board once you are done with this particular circuit I recommend you to go to the third practice session which includes the development of Arduino Uno board of course we are not building a little complicated I mean uh, we are making it a little easy for the beginners because um, if you go with the SMD components and all it will become very complicated for you to understand and design yourself that's why what we are trying to do is we are trying to include the FTDI connector here which is a external programmer or a debugger module we are going to interface that one while programming this Atmega 328 PIC however the GPIOs and power supply all those things are built in we are going to use the plus 5 volt DC power supply in this circuit again again we are going to copy paste it from the previous circuit and then we will be having Atmega 328P IC directly rather than using Arduino Nano development board or Arduino Uno development board we are going to build our own Arduino development board you can name it however you want it actually in fact uh, while we are designing this particular uh, circuit uh, we, we named it as uh, UTD no UTD is our company name and uh, Arduino Uno is having a INO right so we combined both together and named it as UTD no so like that you can name it however you want it but this is going to be your customized Arduino Uno development board so this is a schematic of that particular circuit it's it's very easy and very straightforward if you understood all the concepts that we discussed in the previous tutorial so make sure that you practice this particular schematic at the third level first one is all about uh, AC switch using uh, modules not directly designing a circuit which is uh, session one and you can you can pause the video and watch this particular schematic and design it parallelly along with your you know easy EDA tool which is just possible and the second one is all about second example is all about creating your own IR sensor circuit and creating your own relay module circuit and designing the entire system in one PCB and the third one is creating your own Arduino Uno development board okay so these are the three important practice session I would like to recommend for now these are the schematics and you need schematic only you don't need to look at my PCB design because it's non-comparable you should not compare your PCB at the first attempt with the person who is designing it from more than four to five years so you should, you should not compare so that's why I'm not showing my PCB designing at the initial stage but now for your reference for your understanding to understand how exactly the tracks are taken how exactly the track width is taken care in in the power section and in the digital section or the kind of placement of the component and all I would like to show my PCB designing as well now you are looking at AC switch using Arduino PCB uh, which is the first level practice that I have recommended to you you can see here Arduino Nano is placed here and also the power supply is you know placed as per the IPC standard and then we will be having a relay connector and IR sensor connector and LCD connector here of course we are not designing our own circuit that's why the circuit is very simple very compact and very minimal components you can see on the circuit and very easy to route as well as per my knowledge but again it, it depends on the person to person and uh, the kind of skills that you have and the kind of practice you have done in the previous tutorial so this is the first one which is all about the AC switch using modules using Arduino Nano and the second one is all about uh, Arduino Nano application board where we are having our own uh, relay module and your own uh, IR sensor module you can see here the potentiometer and IR transmitter and receiver LEDs all those things are placed here and also uh, single channel relay module is also placed here and the routing is looking little messy I mean this one is uh, just a sample design so it's not so professional so practicable I mean um, so not not so appealing but it works absolutely fine so you can consider it as a recommendation or maybe a reference instead of that you you create your own circuit and you make sure that you create even more better than this one that is that is the goal of this entire tutorial right I want you to grow and I want you to make sure that you create much more better circuit than whatever shown in this particular tutorial so this is all about the second practice session and second practice PCB car reference 
and the third one is all about designing your own Arduino Uno development board. You can see here this is uh, Arduino Uno development board. The most important thing that you must understand in this particular practice is all about taking care of writing these uh, you know symbols or maybe you can say uh, naming for the GPIO. Uh, whatever silk layer we are using here they are all indication of what this particular pin is all about whether this is adc pin number 5 or adc pin number 0 all those things are indicated by using the silk layer information so make sure that you create the proper design first the track width and track design and all those things to be to be taken care at the first preference and thereafter make sure that you work on the silk layer a little bit so that it looks little better than just a normal PCB designing okay the product development activity product level design activity should be taken care so this is this is your third reference or you can say uh, circuit third circuit practice circuit which you are going to design by yourself and uh, make sure that it is it is ipc standard level and uh, it should follow certain rules and regulations that we have discussed in our previous tutorial all right these are the three practice circuits that i recommend you to try before completing this entire tutorial or maybe entire course that we have hosted here uh, but again, if you are really enthusiast and you are exploring new knowledge and skills in PCB designing, you can even try with the triple five timer circuit, which is monostable multivibrator or a stable multivibrator, which is one of the very classic circuit that everybody tries when, when they are developing a PCB designing for the first time. Even I tried that one for the first time, but for you, I have recommended little higher level car circuit so that you can extend your uh, knowledge uh, beyond beyond the comfort zone that you are already in so you can try with the most stable multivibrator and even multivibrator with a different circuitry like you know clock circuit or maybe uh, up counter down counter you can play around with the digital circuits and expect your pcb designing skills to be applied in your digital circuitry design which is absolutely open for you and you can experiment with uh, those kind of uh, circuits i believe you have learned something new in this particular tutorial if you have any questions, concerns or any review activity need to be done from my side, please post your questions or maybe the comment in, in the comment section below. And I will be available and I'll be helping you as much as possible from my side, as quick as possible from my side to make sure that you are learning in, in the quickest way. Thank you so much for watching our video. Consider subscribing to our channel for such more informative content and share it with your friends and colleagues without a fail. Tune yourself to make a difference.